Hello. In this video, we'll show you how to make a custom track in Race Capture. To start, launch the Race Capture app and navigate to the configuration view. Make sure that the Race Capture is connected and communicating with the app. Go to the Racetrack configuration screen and you will see the automatic racetrack detection option. Normally, you can use Race Capture to specify your favorite racetracks for automatic configuration. When in automatic configuration mode, Race Capture will look for the nearest racetrack. And if you have a racetrack in your location, it will automatically select that and configure the start finish line, sector points, and other settings. If you're at a racetrack that is not in our database, what you can do is you can set a manual start finish point so you can record laps. To do that, turn off automatic racetrack detection. And then you can go to the start finish line and edit the latitude and longitude points for that. So I am entering start finish point for Sonoma Raceway. Even though that's in our track database, I'm using this as an example. So all you have to do is enter the latitude and longitude of the start finish point and be sure that you get the precise latitude and longitude points. The best way to do it is to just use Google Maps, navigate or find the racetrack that, you're, that you want or the location on the earth where your start finish point is and then just zoom in as much as possible and get the exact point on the map. When you're done, just click or touch the checkpoint and then make sure you write the configuration back to Race Capture. Once you do that, you'll see in the top bar that Race Capture is using a user defined track. So you'll see that at the top. If you need separate start finish lines, you can enable that option and then you can enable the separate track target for the start finish for the finish line. If you want to define sector points, define them in the order that the vehicle will travel along the course. So after the start finish line, you would define the first sector and then the second and then so on. Define them in the, or, in the order that they would be encountered. And then the last sector would be the one before the start finish line again, or the finish line. If you are in the vehicle and you roll up to the start finish line, what you can do also do is press the green target, which will pull the GPS coordinates from race capture and automatically populate it. What you still need to do after you do that is write the configuration back to Race Capture. Once this is complete, then you can start running laps and then you'll see your predictive timing show up in your dashboard and also in the log files. Thank you.